Hello there, this is Karen from Webshop Apps and today I'm going to talk to you about our extension Royal Mail table rates. Uh, this has been uh, this has become pretty populated with the latest Royal Mail rates and as of today it's um, got April 2010 in uh, uh, the nice thing about this extension is not just not just that it's got the raw mail rates in there, it's the fact that you can actually adapt these rates, add new rates, because it jumps on the back of the matrix rate suite of extensions. It also has some product specific shipping, so for example if you sell something which you can send in a letter packet, uh, a letter sorry, then it will actually let you do this, and it, or you can say oh this only goes via packet, and it will actually provide rates as appropriate. So let's have a look at it in action. So what we've got here is we've got different types of products. We've got large letters, letters, packages with different weights. Um, the extension will support all these scenarios. And it uses a CSV file so you can actually adapt it to your own specific needs. So let's have a look at it, how it comes by default. So what we've got here is we've got a letter in the cart. And what it will do is it will offer you these rates here. And these rates are actually letter rates from Royal Mail. And you can see these in the CSV file as configured. And this row here is the one that's been hit for first class. So it's actually saying when the weight's 0 to 100 and then it's only got one of these items, then we'll charge 41 pence. But if you actually said, oh, actually, I can put five of these items in and still charge only that 41 pence, then it would still work. You just change that field there. By default, if I then change this to be two items, it will stop sending it by letter and start sending it via packet. So it hit the first class 139, which is this one here, which is your packet rates. Okay. So let's see how this is actually set up in the back end. This is your configuration for Royal Mail rates. And you've got these allowed methods that you can use. Now these are all pulled again from the CSV file, so there's no hard code in here. So say you want to add in a new uh, allowed method, then you could do that just by adapting the CSV file. And I'll show you that in a separate demo. You've got um, the option to show notes or not. So if we go back to the CSV, then if you've got something like standard parcels, then we can actually say, OK, show the insurance that, that relates to that. So we've got their standard parcels. If we switch on the notes, let's just try this out. You get the longer things, which is about the insurance. And the insurance is price specific. Then you've got other options, the standard shipping options, such as calculate handling fee. So if you want to add a surcharge on for your packing, then you can do that. And that's either fixed or percentage. Okay. Now in your product listing, there'll be a shipping tab, which is where you can set the shipping group. And basically you've got three options. You've got letter, large letter, or you can leave it blank. So you don't need to set it for your standard items, which are sent per package. Now, if we add in something a little bit larger, then what will actually happen is it will default to the package level. So we've got a kilo item here. And we're getting these rates. And if this is set back to 1, it's not going to obviously give a letter. It's still going to default to the packet. So it's sensible enough to know what to do. Um, it's also got support for international rates in there. And they're all set up. There you go. And again, if you want to add your own, then you can do this. So here we go. Let's have a quick look. If you want to put the countries in, all the countries can go on one line. So here we've got Europe, and we've got all of these countries on one line. So it makes the, the CSV file a lot smaller. The other thing that we've got support for is algorithm field. So we can actually hear what we're saying is, is that for every 20 grams, then add on 10 pence. So it just makes the whole CSV file so much smaller to manage. Generally, if you're just using standard Royal Mail rates, then you won't actually need to manage it yourself. It'll come preloaded, and then when the new Royal Mail rates come out, then we'll send you over the new file. You just upload that file and you're away, you're up and running with the new rates. You can see here we've only got 200 rows in the whole file, and these are all the Royal Mail ones. We're also shortly um, going to be adding in the um, franking and account rates. That should go in within the next couple of days. Thanks very much for your time.